Hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to make this lemon drizzle cake. When I tell you this thing is easy to make, girl it is so easy and so tasty. Your family will look at you like where does this baker come from? Honestly it is so good. So the first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 180 degrees celsius on the fan oven. It really doesn't take too long to make this so make sure you preheat that oven. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. Self raising flour, caster sugar, granulated sugar, three eggs, one lemon, baking powder, any kind of butter. And for the equipment, you're gonna need a mixer, which just makes life easier. It was really annoying me how that spoon was sitting so close. Just cutlery, you're gonna need a grater, a cooling tray, is that what they're called? Whatever, those wire trays. Your loaf tins, this batch actually makes two small ones, a mixing bowl and your weighing scales. So now we're just going to get our mixing bowl and dump all of the ingredients in. First off, 175 grams of self-raising flour. You don't need to sieve or anything like that. 175 grams of caster sugar. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And I totally forgot to put my lemon zest in. It was so annoying. It didn't make too much of a difference. It just didn't taste as lemony, but it was still good. And here's me trying to crack an egg with one hand. And surprisingly, I actually did pretty well. No shells. I also forgot to go soften my butter, so I just stuck that in the microwave. Like 10 seconds should do it, but of course I got distracted and I overdid it. And it ended up with melted butter, but again, it's okay, mistakes happen. And as long as it's not cold butter, it's fine. And I also had to go and let my dog out because she was being annoying. And I was like, I saw something else out there. Turned out it was a neighborhood cat. My dog just looking at me like, what are you looking at? So yeah, then I go back to the baking. The reason you want this butter softened or melted in my case is you want this mixture to be smooth. And when the butter's cold, just straight out of the fridge, it's really hard to get it smooth. And then you're just gonna have lumps of butter in your cake, which you do not want. I left all of this in because I find it really relaxing for some reason, watching this get all like smooth. So enjoy. it done I couldn't resist doing those little squiggles now you're gonna get your loaf tins these are the only ones I had there are two small ones the brand Steelex is actually really good it never sticks I don't know if you want to do one big massive one you could but this recipe is perfect size for these two small ones and if you're like me my family ate a whole one by the next morning so yeah two is probably a good idea now you could totally do the grease proof paper in both of these but I am way way too lazy for that so I just put some butter in it 
I've never had a problem with them sticking like ever so butter will definitely do but if you have greaseproof paper go for it the way you will know when these are ready is that they will separate from the sides and they'll be springy to the touch so it will separate from the sides regardless so you don't have to be too pernickety with this part now when you're filling these tins up you're going to want to do it halfway because of the baking powder and the self raising flour these are going to rise so you're not going to want to overfill them too much because then you'll just have a big mess and nobody wants that They're gonna go in the oven for like 35 40 minutes but I don't leave them in that long I'd give them a good 25 minutes and then check on them and if they're starting to get brown they're done it's very easy to burn them and while I was waiting of course I had to catch up on it's Judy's life and yes it is 10 45 p.m. that I was doing this that's just the quarantine life I guess Benji was also making dinner, which looked so good and was making me so hungry. We also have time to make our lemon drizzle. And it was at this point that I realized I didn't zest my lemon. But yes, anyway, you're just gonna wanna juice your lemon and add your granulated sugar. I struggled to get the juice out of this lemon, so you can just watch my struggle. I fast forwarded it. I didn't add all of the granulated sugar because the mixture can get quite thick. You don't want it too watery and you don't want it too thick either. You want a nice balance. You just want to be able to drizzle it over your cakes. You also have time to do your dishes because doing your dishes after you bake just sucks. had to put this in because I looked over and my dog and my sister's dog were sharing a bed sleeping. I was wondering why they were so quiet. I just thought they were so cute. I also put like a little bit of paper down under my cooling tray because we're gonna drizzle some sugar and you don't want that on your counter. It's time to get these bad boys out of the oven and I struggled so yeah let's just quick forward that and bam they're out mine are a little brown but they're fine again you separate them from the sides just to help them out but they fell really easy out of the tins so they were all good and squishy the same with the second one how nice do these look and how easy did this one fall out yes they were so nice so now we're just gonna flip them over and put our drizzle on I was trying to be nice and I was using a spoon and then I just thought F it and I just drizzle the whole thing over it. I did spread it out a little because there was no zest in this cake but the topping really makes up for the lemon flavour. We were supposed to let these cool but I couldn't wait so I had to cut into this one and oh my god I can still remember the taste. It is so tasty. By the morning time this loaf 
had disappeared. My family had eaten it, even though I'd only made it at like 11 o'clock that night. So yeah, that's how tasty it is. And yes, I did stop a whole one of these in my mouth. So excuse my face in this next bit. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And yeah, enjoy your lemon drizzle cake. Bye.